Oh, your yeah. house is on Long Beach. That's amazing. You know, if I had a time machine, mm. I wouldn't want to go into the past mm. because the past sucks mm. completely. They, they were sentimental about the 50s, and I just, mm. I can't subscribe but to that kind of... going back in time? Right, right. How, right. Are, how are you ever well, like, compared to our parents, that. too, is yeah. like, we are so lucky. We have so many more resources. Yeah, Having to have a job in healthcare I, I is honestly... I, really I know, but in the end, like, we're I'm really happy with where we're at. I really think that we are really lucky. It's because without them, what's the point of being lucky if we're going to insert ourselves into the future in children's did you know that half of all mental illness is hereditary? I didn't, but I looked it up online, and everything you find online has to be true, right? <laughs> but I'm looking at all of you and I'm starting to think we're really not giving our parents enough credit for how messed up we all are. <laughs> I'm just looking for someone to blame. Come to think of it, that's probably a symptom of my narcissistic personality disorder, which I get from my father's side. <laughs> Daddy issues, am I right? <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> okay, I was at this dinner party, right? We've all been to those dinner parties where Everyone gives unnecessary toasts before meals because we're modern adults and we don't say grace anymore. Does religious trauma count as a mental illness? Because if it does, I get that from my mother's side. <laughs> <laughs> I was at this aggressively mundane dinner party and my friends are talking, but I can't hear them. Because all I can hear is this advertisement for body butter playing really loudly in my head, which is weird because I have no idea when my brain started taking paid partnerships. <laughs> and then I'm wondering why body butter, because I haven't moisturized since the last time my mother told me that she loves me. And to be completely honest, I don't know anyone who uses body butter, so now I'm making a tiered list in my brain of the people in my life and their likelihood of using body butter over regular old lotion. And my friends are still talking, but my brain is just vibing on body butter. I have ADHD. You're welcome. <laughs> it all just makes me think, why am I here? Not in the dinner party sense, in the life sense. Why am I here? Life is the real illness, isn't it? When you think of it like that, mental illness is 100% our parents' fault. I mean, it's not like we asked them to exist, but they had sex and here we are. <laughs> A scientist might deduce that living is the root of all problems. Because I wouldn't have problems if I weren't alive. I don't wish I was dead. I don't wish I was dead. Can you hear me? I don't wish I was dead. I, I don't wish I was dead. I'm not. Like, absolutely. But I'm also saying that, like, okay. we are living in the best timeline. And, like, I don't know.